Hello everyone. I like to share with you a few trades posted on Wednesday, September 21st. Uh, this is a trade shared by Easy, and as you see here, we see that the market on S&P 500 reached a level of support that got rejected in the macro trade four hours chart, and in the 30 minute you see it as a breakout with a trading channel that is upward and that can be seen in on five minute charts uh, which is entry charts with proper entry exit and targets that we define and that's reason he enters here after the pullback got completed that's uh, entry that's a stop loss and target based in on exit strategy number one so he followed that path system and reached the profit thanks easy for sharing your trades uh, these are trades by Yan or Global Instructor. As you see, he's uh, trading micro NASDAQ futures. And on the macro, you see uh, uptrend on the uh, 90 second chart of a structure. You see breakout and completion of pull, pullback. And on what 10 second chart that is trading chart, he's going to take the pullback repeatedly uh, on uptrend. And with multiple targets on micro NASDAQ enters and ATM on Ninja Traders and manually manage the trades. So let's see a couple of trades that uh, took using the channel that is defined on 10 second charts. So we see that the trades are managed the ATM here we see a level of resistance is forming so we may want to enter short temporary for very quick scalp and see if the pullbacks can be taken again he put limit orders here and adds to the position and is waiting for rejection of price at this level. So this is advanced setup C and only advanced traders should follow this because it's a reversal trade. He has to manage this aggressively and watch the when the buyers come back. So most of the positions were, were closed with profit to left that is closing manually. So now that the buyers come back, he has to take after this retest the long positions. Let me see if he's taking that. Put the limit order for buy and waiting for the buyers add more position and ATM now is closing the trades manually automatically and manually doing that okay just a few trades close with profit because the pullback was very deep today is a OMC statement and meeting so market is very volatile so most novice traders should not trade today and should I stay away as you see the shape of candles everything has a large shadow the uh, market is not as smooth it suddenly changes its direction and it's very difficult to be consistent only advanced traders should uh, take trades with very cautious view and a small number of uh, contracts and, and he's doing that now he's taking after this rejection uh, short positions till this area ATM is managing the open position automatically and trailing the profits and exit here again another completion of the pullback on the major 90 second chart so up uptrend opportunity here Let's watch his trades. He can enter now. That's a good entry. 
be for long. I'll be waiting for more pullback. Make sure the buyers are coming back. Because a volatility market can go deeply down and then come back. So that's the result of these trades today. 41 trades and profit factor is 2.16 and 73% is a percent win on these trades and win to loss ratio is about 0.8 and not a big uh, drawdown so thank you Jan for sharing your trades with us and all the students with explanation uh, these are my trades uh, when the market opens uh, it has an opening range and usually is not trendy so the, this is New York time we see that market is in wide range highly volatile first six minutes you see now that this is not tradable based on that system and the filters that we have high volatility filter and also no trendy that doesn't allow algo number one pass so I'm waiting now the market breaks this range on one minute chart then I can enter the trades and this level breaks below or above so I go and jump now after 937 still we are in sideway wide range highly volatile but later up after waiting 5-10 minutes I come back and check and if there's trend downtrend or uptrend I take positions now here you see that market at this level this range broke it went down didn't break the level it was false eventually broke at this level up worth so I took some short position here and long position here in this sideway range I didn't take any position till the sideway uh, started to clear down worth and I took short positions repeatedly and that was the first beginning of market up to 9.59 I took some trades again here it's a narrow range if it breaks upward I can trade it up to this level 3.900 level let's wait you see this narrow range breaks up or downward and that creates a trend temporary and opportunity so waiting it seems it's breaking the buyers are back if it breaks and hold I'm entering one position first cautiously because today is a FOMC uh, statement I'm making and uh, today is very very volatile day as you see the shape of candles I think seems normal and trendy so cautiously trading and my target is a small so putting limit order for the pullback only one position and volatility is high so a stop loss should be here and still we are in a kind of sideway if you look so I'm not looking at any runner don't add too many positions just straight for a small scalps so it's 10 o'clock now Okay, I got out of this with small profits. Essentially, today is not very good day for scalping, and only advanced traders should trade because of these news, FOMC statements, on rate announcements, and conference. Everything is going to be volatile. So, we're getting very close to the uh, FOMC statement, fund rate, and conference at 2 30. Market is very volatile. 
can see it from the shape of candles and after these announcements market is most probably crash very strongly or sometimes go up these days mostly crash because the rate is gonna increase aggressively to control the inflation so at that time we are not trading we wait for the market to calm down and there are uh, next days there are still many opportunities tomorrow to trade i finished for the day i'm not gonna come come back to trade anymore and that's because the day is highly volatile and high volatility means lose of consistency thanks for your attention hope these trades are useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day